each project in AppRite can be configured with its own options and settings. On the settings overview page, you can rename the project, you can view and copy the project ID, as well as the API endpoint for your AppRite instance. You can also set up custom API endpoints, which require a custom domain. You can also delete the project if necessary. Next up are AppRite services. AppRite comes with many services that can be toggled on and off from the AppRite console for each project. You can choose to enable or disable one or more services based on the needs for your applications. Disabling these services disables access through the REST APIs and AppRite SDKs, even though you can still visit them through the AppRite console. There's also custom domains. When you configure your AppRite instance with a custom domain, it automatically generates an SSL certificate through Let's Encrypt. You can also update the app domain target in your .env file to associate the custom domain with your AppRite instance and allows you to add and verify additional domains. On the Members tab, you can grant additional members access to the project for administrative privileges. To invite a member, you must have SMTP configured and enabled. Click on Invite Member, enter their email address and their name, and click Send Invite. You can also grant access to your AppRite project from server-based applications using API keys. To add an API key, click on the API keys tab and click add API key. Enter a name for the API key. Choose the scopes you will want to grant, such as being able to read and update users, update documents, and click create. To view and copy the API key, click show secret. To update the API key and scopes, click on update. Make your changes and save them below. And you can also delete the API key if necessary. You can create API keys for different applications and you should always store that key in a secure location away from public access. Webhooks are another way to trigger events to external services from AppRite events. To add a webhook, visit the webhooks tab and click add webhook. Enter a name for the webhook, a destination URL that receives the post request and choose the events that would trigger the webhook event. Then click Create. You can also update and delete the webhook if necessary. You can also see data that is aggregated and updated every 15 minutes on the project homepage that you can choose to show different views across different data in your AppRite instance, such as documents, storage, number of users, and number of functions that have been requested. There are also different platforms that you can add to your project for different types of applications. To add a platform, Click Add Platform and choose the platform that you're targeting, whether it be a web application, a Flutter application, Apple app, or Android app. If you choose a web application, this gives you a name that you can enter for your web application and enter a host name. And entering a host name prevents cores errors when your application tries to access your AppRite instance. To add the platform, click Register. Now I can use the AppRite Web SDK within your application to access your AppRite instance. You can also update the platform information or delete it if necessary. And you can have more than one platform associated with your particular project.